Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade a Dell Optiplex 755 ultra small form factor PC. First of all, you need a portable USB drive with uh, the latest BIOS version. So let me just power this one. You can see we have A11 BIOS now. Okay. The CPU is an E, ah, sorry, E2200 at 2.2 GHz, 2 gigs of RAM, and the hard drive, 80 gigs. So, yeah, first we will upgrade the BIOS. The stick is in, pressing F12, actually reboot. I didn't press it in time. Okay. Starting from USB device. Okay. That was the BIOS file. It's loading now. It will replace the A11 with A22 version. Confirm. We will be changing the CPU with an uh, E5500, it's 2.8 GHz, and we will put in 4 GB of RAM and a 500 uh, GB hard drive. We need the sock for uh, cleaning of the thermal paste. And this is some cheap thermal paste, but it's very good. So yeah, still waiting for the update. There is a chance that this update was not completely necessary, but when changing CPUs, it's way better to update the BIOS just to be safe, than to need to put back the old CPU, Update the BIOS, take it out and put again the new CPU. Yeah, why bother when you can update from the start? Yeah, this is taking longer than expected, so I will stop the video and continue after it's finished. The BIOS update finished, let's do this. Just remember when updating the BIOS, never interrupt it. No matter how long it takes, you leave it to do its thing. I will clean the CPU with uh, isopropylic uh, alcohol. Yeah. Almost forgot to take the power out. Everything is out. Actually, let me just take the hard drive first. I will uh, be needing these uh, blue rails on the new one. So I have to remove those from this and put uh, them on the other one. Okay, let me just try and do this. My battery just died, of course. So I used the occasion to prepare the hard drive, the CPU, the heatsink. So I can do this in one go, hopefully. Remove 
dauert es die Bio. Put in the new CPU, be careful aligning it with the socket because it only goes in one direction, you cannot put it any other way around. Of course this PC needs to be cleaned, but I have to go outside to do that, because it will create lots and lots of dust. Let me just see what I can do. Has to go under the plastic like that, and now it clipped in place. So this is perfect. Let me just put the hard drive in. Be careful not to, to catch this underneath it, the plugs, the power of the SAT one. Align the notch on the memory with the one on the motherboard. This have to go in pretty easily, so if you are uh, having trouble with them, uh, just check again that everything is in position. Do not push extremely strongly on them, like I have to do now, but sadly this is in position. I al already know that, but it just goes a little bit harder in. Okay, it's ready to be powered on. Let me just plug everything back in. I have to enter setup. The BIOS version and the CPU info. Memory information for gigs and the hard drive. Yay, 500 gigs. So this system with this configuration is still pretty decent for this day. Of course, being this small, it, you cannot put a dedicated graphic card, so gaming is out of the question, almost. So, uh, let's put everything back together. If I actually have time, because from what I see now, the camera will shut down in a few seconds with the card being full. Let okay, it is closed. Uh, my card is almost full. So this has been it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments. If you found this video useful, give it a like, maybe subscribe and see you again in the next ones. Bye!